bringing the people behind our food to life. This was a homestead farm in 1898. We bought the farm in 1986 and um, lived in the little 1898 house for the first five years while we were sculpting the hilltop for habitation. We have about an acre planted, maybe just a little bit less, and we have seven different varieties, and we have about 1,300, maybe 1,400 plants in the acre. First of all, purple is one of my favorite colors. Secondly, it is um, drought tolerant and we don't have a lot of water out here. And third, and most important, the deer don't eat it. <laughs> they are perennial. Most lavender will last at least about eight to 10 years and it'll eventually get a little woody. You need to prune them down really hard every year so they're in a nice tight ball and then they'll come back again and then they, they can stay in the landscape for decades. The plant is very hardy. It's got a number of uses. Um, it's been around since, you know, biblical times. Uh, in fact, they found lavender oil still fragrant in King Tut's tomb. So it's got tremendous staying power. It's got a lot of medicinal uses. Uh, it can be very potent, so you have to be very careful with how you're using it and making sure that you're not overdoing it. You can use any lavender if you like the taste of it in culinary because it's not toxic, but most people use English lavenders and those have very little to no camphor content and they're very sweet and they're very good for culinary. Even though we're not certified organic, obviously we are very organic because we don't have any pesticides or herbicides on our plants and hence all of the naturally occurring <laughs> weeds. <laughs> So you come into the bush and shake off the bees because some of them times they're sleeping in there and you're just going to do a one, one nice quick cut. And there you have it. And that is Provence. Got to make sure I'm in the right spot here. Yeah, this is Grosso, fat spike. So we'll put a little bit next to the Provence, and you can see the difference in color. Maybe, not much. Well, the other's a little grayer. Yeah, this one's grayer. This one's a little purpler. This particular one is called Grow Blue. And you can see the difference. There's the third one that's got a much deeper blue color. Yes, it does. Wow. We are beekeepers. We have eight hives and um, we um, do harvest the honey, but it's not commercially. We only um, have it for friends and family. And interestingly enough, the uh, lavender is not uh, does not require pollination to bloom. So uh, the bees really aren't necessary, but they just really enjoy it. And so we let them have their, have their uh, field of lavender. Lavender is having somewhat of a revival. Enjoy the season because the season starts with Spanish lavenders in late spring. Uh, starting in June are the quote unquote English lavenders, the earlier bloomers and then the late bloomers in the July time frame are the French lavenders. So there's a nice long period of time where the lavender um, is available for viewing and for picking, so it's a, it's a wonderful product. <laughs>